Alright, the community has spoken. We are going to be recreating another song using only Fortnite sounds. And this time, I'm going to be making Venetia by Lil Uzi Vert from his newest album, Eternal A Take. So I was watching my old video recreating Blueberry Figo with only Fortnite sounds, and I realized that the piano I used was completely AIDS. It was so bad. I don't know why I even used that one. It literally, like, was e -rip. It was so loud. So yeah, I apologize for those people that witnessed that. I mean, if you want to go check it out anyway, there will be a link in the description to that video. Alright, with all that aside, let's get right into recreating Venetia with only Fortnite sounds. Alright, hold up. Before this video actually starts, I'm just going to say... If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure you just tell me in the comments below. Say, make more of these kind of videos and just leave a like or something to show that you actually like these. And yeah, if you guys if you guys want me to do more of them, I'll do more of them. Alright, so first we're going to find the main instrument that was used in Venetia, and this was the closest thing in Fortnite that I could find to it. Alright, and then I put it into FL Studio. And right here is just me, in time lapse, putting in all the notes for the main chords. Alright, right here, this is what it sounds like when it's finished, and I still didn't really like what it sounded like. It was too, like, flowy. Like, it flowed in- each note flowed into each note too much. So then I just pressed some of these knobs, twist and turned them, and I'd listen to this. Now it's set it to, like, robotic, so then I changed it a little bit even more, and then I finally got the sound that I was looking for. Alright, next up I just laid the main melody over the chords using the same instruments. Alright, now I finished the top lead and it sounds like this. Alright, I'm going to be layering that melody with this other sound. Alright, and then I just copied the chords from the other instrument into this one and it sounds like this. It's kind of giving me like that grainy old vintage kind of feel. So I added a little bit more effects, I added a sausage fattener and also an EQ, and now it sounds like this. More of that like grainy old vinyl feel. Alright, and for the last musical instrument thing from Fortnite, I'm gonna be using this bell sound. That's actually not a bell sound at all, I don't know why I said bell. Already I brought that bell instruments into FL Studio, and it sounds like this with no effects. So yeah, a little blend, so pretty much I added Fruity Reverb, Fattener, and also EQ, and they look like this. I don't think anyone really cares, but I show them anyway. And yeah, now it sounds a lot better, like this. Alright, so next up we're going to be doing the hi-hats. So I found this hit marker sound, and only this end part back here I was going to be using for the hi-hat. So I cut that part out, and then this is what it sounds like with only the end part. Already, I laid out the hi-hats and listened to it a couple times, and I realized this is not that good of a hi-hat sound, but I'm too lazy to go and find another one, so here it is. Alright, and I tried to find an open hi-hat, and this was the best thing I could use for it. And so I cut out the end, and it sounds like this. Alright, so I put that sound into FL Studio, and it sounds like this. I add a little bit of reverb to it to make it sound a bit better. Alright, for the last part I'm going to use the suppressed pistol again. Alright, so I added that sound into FL Studio and then I added these three effects here. And now it sounds like this. Alright, and the finished drums sound like this. Alright, now for the 808. Um, there literally is nothing that we can use in Fortnite that's close to an 808, so... Yeah, this sounds pretty terrible, but it's the closest thing we can get. Alright, when I loaded it into FL Studio, it didn't sound anything like an 808, but then with some tweaking, it sounded better. So at first, it sounds like this. Oh, that's really quiet, you can barely hear that, but anyway, um... We gotta turn on all the effects that I put on, I did an EQ, Sausage Fattener, you know, we need the thickness, and also a Sound Goodizer. And with everything together, it sounds a lot better. Alright, before I finish up the track, I removed the main lead. And then, um, I just did, I turned this knob a little bit, and now it just sounds a little bit better. It kind of blends in more, I don't really know how to explain it. Alright, I'm pretty much done with arranging it, and it's not exactly the same as the song, because in the real song, this beginning, like, 
part plays for like 300 measures, and that is just boring. So I just did two measures of this, two measures of that, and two measures of the other part. So yeah, um, this whole thing will be available on my SoundCloud. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, if you guys like these videos, make sure you leave a like to show that you guys like them, so I'll make more of them. Alright, here we go. This is the final product. Shit up.